Hey guys, today I'm going to be unboxing the SDX Standard Gundam Barbatos. Well, it took a little while for this kit to get to me. Its release here in Korea was a little bit delayed or something. I really don't understand what went on with that, but Bandai Korea has been a little strange lately with, anyway, they're changing their rules and their distribution, how they're distributing here in Korea, and it's just kind of weird. But I do have to thank Mind Phoenix Hobby Store for getting this kit to me. Uh, so thank you to them. If you guys are living in Australia, please do check out their site. So yeah, we've got the SDX Standard Barbatos here, and the SDBB Senshi Barbatos is going to be coming out very soon. Now I've seen some people speculating that the kits are actually the same, and just with the BB Senshi version, including more stuff in it, obviously. I'm not sure. I think that'd be a pretty dirty trick on Bandai's part if they were to do that, especially now that they are selling the SDX Standard kits within Japan. I, If that turns out to be the case... I would estimate that maybe they already had plans for the two different versions before they decided to start selling the SDX standard kits in Japan and then they just kind of didn't want to go back on their plan to release two different kits. Or it is actually two different kits, we'll just have to see. Based on what I've seen of uh, this kit, just from taking a peek in the box, and what I know of the molded colors for the BB Senshi kit, I do think that there's they're, they're separate kits because of, of what we've got here in this box. So let's go ahead and take a look. So, uh, cool SDX standard uh, box art here on the front as usual. I like the way that these boxes are laid out. On the bottom, we can see that this is number 010, number 10 in the line. So similar to the Gundam local type, was the 10th in the origin line. This is the 10th in the SDX standard line. It's kind of interesting they're coming out around the same time. And then here on the side we can see this is coming with the mace, the sword, and the cannon. So kind of nice uh, different weapon options we have there. And then of course you can combine some stuff to use with your HG Barbatos if you'd like. Going around to the other side here, just a nice painted image of what the kit is going to look like once it is all painted. And it is going to require a lot of painting as usual with the SDX standard line. But you should have already been able to guess that if you've seen any of my past reviews. 600 yen for the list price. Let's go ahead and get this open, and we can see here we've got some polycaps, a very large sticker sheet, some white parts, uh, which look very nicely detailed, uh, some gray parts, looks like mostly weapons, and a couple other kind of frame parts there it looks like, kind of interesting. Uh, one blue part and one yellow part. Now the reason why I think this is different from the BB Senshi kit is because I believe, if I'm just remembering, just off the top of my head, I don't think the BB Senshi kit had a yellow part for this, but I could be wrong about that. I would have to go back and check the images. I'm just going off about just what I remember at the moment. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the manual here. We've just got, the, again, the standard uh, BB Senshi, uh, sorry, standard uh, X standard style manual here. Uh, again, nice painted image there on the front. Here on the back, how to make our Frankenstein weapons. Looks like you can just basically combine the mace and the rifle, or the mace and the cannon together to make a super cannon. Uh, yeah, you can combine the V-fin with the sword to make a super sword. I don't know, I gotta say, for the Frankenstein weapons, this kit is looking pretty weak. Let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. Here we've got just a lot of nice images here. of uh, Again, the Frankenstein weapons you can make with this. Again, meh. Uh, and, a, and a lot of nice reference photos here for you to see, again, how the kit is going to look like with paint. Speaking of paint, there's our painting guide there at the bottom. On the inside, there is our parts list. We are going to be using everything with this kit. That's standard for the standard X standard line. Uh, the head is going to be first. Again, you can see relatively basic there with a lot of stickers. Then onto the chest, same story there, putting the backpack on. Then onto the shoulders. Of course, they're probably going to be all molded in white. We're going to have to add a few stickers onto there to give us our color separation on the shoulders. Finishing up the arms, legs, and then just putting it all together, and then just how to mount the weapons there to wrap it up. So let's go ahead and take a look at these runners here. So here's our foil sticker sheet, and as you would expect for an SDX standard kit, it's quite large, quite a few different uh, colors of stickers on there. We've got the eyes, of course, then a bunch of gold, some very dark gray, some whites, a whole bunch of red. So here we got, we, we've just got quite a lot of markings here. Or just uh, stickers, I should say, not markings. Anyway, here's our polycap runner. Again, standard SDX standard, or even just SD polycap runner here. PC303 molded in that same kind of dark brown gray color. 
Here's runner A, and this is going to be all of our white parts there for the legs, backpack, chest, shoulders, feet, head, uh, front of the head anyway, uh, waist and arms. Just to give you a look at some of this detail here on the head is looking pretty nice. You can see all of that. The runner marking is going to be SD EX Gundam Barbatos there. Runner B, like the polycaps, is molded in that grayish brown sort of metallic color. Just parts for the eyes, the hands, the torso, the back of the head, and our three weapons there. So each of the three weapons is just molded as one piece. So again, they're going to be like very thin, but uh, ultimately nicely detailed anyway. Runner C, again, just our one small little piece here. Well, it's not that small, but small runner piece here for the very large yellow V fin for the Barbatos. And then runner D, a even smaller runner with a solitary blue part here for the chest, and that's it. So that'll do it for unboxing the latest in the SDX standard line, the Gundam Barbatos. So looking forward to checking this out. I like the SDX standard line because it's very cheap, and the kits, I think their overall design and proportions are kind of cool, despite the fact that, yes, they have hollow areas in the back of the legs and they have a lot of stickers. But, you know, overall, I think they're some pretty nice kits. So, looking forward to checking this out. Pretty soon we'll be able to check out the BB Senshi version as well and compare and contrast. Uh, I think probably a lot more people are going to go for the BB Senshi version just because it has so many different option parts for it. But, you know, we'll just have to see when we compare those. So, for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the review. Bye-bye.